Well, it was manufacturing that posted the worst results last quarter, and many businesses remain concerned about the prospect of a recession just as Britain leaves the European Union. If stockpiling earlier in the year boosted the economy before the first Brexit deadline in March, the picture now is much less clear. Described as the cradle of the Industrial Revolution, the Midlands has a rich manufacturing history. But as the dark clouds of a possible recession loom closer, how will businesses here cope? This factory in Leicestershire makes light box displays. At the start of the year, they, like many, stockpiled to prepare for the March Brexit deadline. Experts say that helped boost the economy. But now we're suffering the hangover, with British manufacturing output falling. It's the uncertainty. We don't know what we're dealing with. So they keep telling us to plan, do all our strategies. Well, what can you strategize for when you don't know what the hell is going to happen? This engineering firm in Nottinghamshire makes precision parts for the nuclear, aerospace and oil and gas industries. They rely on imported steel. The biggest fear is the unknown. And with news the economy shrank for the first time in nearly seven years, they're wary. It's one of the biggest problems for me at the moment is the weakening pound. That is very concerning because we have agreed fixed prices with our customers. This is a family business yep. started by your father. Do you think there's ever been such a period of uncertainty? No, I think this is, um, this is huge. I don't think we've ever faced anything like this. But this clothes manufacturer in Derbyshire has been busy Brexit-proofing itself, investing millions in its own printing technology so it doesn't have to rely on importing fabric. Things never turn out as bad as you expect. The boss feels optimistic about Brexit and beyond. I've been in this company for 30 years and every time something goes wrong, we blame the economy, we blame the weather, we blame the water, we blame everything apart from ourselves. I think it's high time we started making things in Britain once again and exporting. This is the sort of British business Boris Johnson believes will thrive post-Brexit. But his critics will seize on today's depressing economic news, especially as he takes us towards the uncertainty of a no-deal Brexit. This British business might feel confident they can iron out any economic challenges to come. But success will rely on their customers feeling the same. Rebecca Barry, News at 10, Derbyshire. And Joel is here in the studio with me. Joel, I suppose it's inevitable when we're talking about economic uncertainty that people are going to reach for Brexit as an explanation. But the wider global economy seems to suggest, doesn't it, that there are problems for countries beside Britain? Yeah, it's absolutely true. It's something that the Chancellor pointed to. Look, the headline figure was awful today, Raggy, but the Chancellor was arguing quite fairly in some ways, that it was also uh, a bit misleading. Uh, so as Javid pointed out, that other advanced economies are also experiencing uh, something of an economic slowdown. I suppose that's true, but many also outperformed the UK in the last quarter. The British economy quarter contracted, as we learned today. The US, the French, the Italian and Japanese economies did rather better than we did between April and June. But the Chancellor was also pointing uh, to other distorting factors here in the UK. He said businesses were stockpiling between January and March, expecting us to leave the EU. When we didn't, they ran down those stocks April to June. That's Mis that sort of gave a misleading picture, flattered Q1, you know, insulted Q2. Um, but that also you had this issue with car uh, manufacturers who brought forward their summer shutdowns, which meant that in April there was a kind of fall in output. Again, a very, very fair point to make. But these factors don't explain all of the weakness. Look at what's happened to business investment. It slumped really uh, quite dramatically. Look at what happened to the services sector of our economy, which is unaffected really by the stockpiling, it experienced the weakest growth that we've seen for three years. And these factors point to a more general loss of economic momentum at a politically, of course, uh, quite awkward time. Now, what happens next, of course, will largely be determined, how many times do we say this, but on the outcome of uh, Brexit. The majority of economists, as we know, think that no deal uh, if we were to leave suddenly and abruptly from the European Union at the end of October, for example, uh, that that would cause economic damage. Uh, there, there's a general consensus on that. The OBR thinks uh, such an outcome.
will blow a hole in the public finances, leaving uh, the Chancellor struggling uh, to find tax revenues. The Bank of England uh, has said already that it thinks that such an outcome would lead to a fall in the pound, a rise in prices and slower growth. That is why investors were selling the pound today. All right. Thank you very much indeed, Joe.